Kew Gardens is a botanical garden and park in the southwest of London between the boroughs of Richmond and Kew. It covers an area of over 130 hectares and has roughly a rectangular shape stretching about a mile, 1.6 kilometres, along the River Thames. Kew Gardens started at its southwestern end when the future King George II moved into Richmond Lodge with his wife Caroline. The future Queen Caroline took an interest in the surrounding land and developed it into a park and gardens. The couple's son, Frederick, Prince of Wales, and his wife Augusta moved into a mansion some two kilometres away. This mansion, close to Kew Palace today, is at the northeastern end of Kew Gardens. It is Augusta who is often quoted as the founder of Kew Gardens, her earthly paradise, as she called it. She worked closely with a botanist, Lord Butte, whose interest was the systemization of plants and collecting exotic plants from different parts of the world, thus establishing Kew Gardens as a botanical institution. The next generation of the royal family, in the shape of King George III, continued to live at Kew Gardens and to develop it further. George III worked closely with the colourful personality of Sir Joseph Banks, a wealthy gentleman with a strong interest and knowledge in botanics, who had accompanied Captain Cook on his voyage to discover Australia. It was during George III's reign that Richmond and Kew parts of the garden merged into one. The future royal generations did not take much interest in Kew Gardens, and in 1837, Queen Victoria gave it to the nation. The first directors worked hard to retain and confirm the botanical and scientific mission of Kew Gardens. They resisted wishes by the British government to turn Kew Gardens into a pleasure park. The gardens are today sponsored by the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs and managed by directors and their staff. Kew Gardens greenhouses are iconic. The Palm House opened in 1848. By applying techniques used in shipbuilding, the metal and glass structure is able to span a large area without the need of load-bearing columns. It was heated from the basement through a metal grid that still forms the palm house floor. Mainly useful plants from the tropical rainforests find accommodation in the palm house. The temperate house was built in the same era as the palm house in two stages. The centre part of the greenhouse was built in 1860, its wings some 40 years later. It is the largest surviving Victorian glass house in the world. The Princess of Wales Conservatory is a modern greenhouse, built in 1986. It provides 10 climate zones, controlled by computers. Sunk in the ground and covered with glass roofs, it is designed to save energy. During the construction of the conservatory, a time capsule was buried. It contains the seeds of basic crops and endangered plant species and key publications on conservation. Hughes Gardens is a major research institute. Many projects are executed, often in collaboration with universities, to investigate the potential role of plants in problems the world faces today, such as climate change and loss of biodiversity. Kew Gardens houses the world's largest collection of living plants, more than 30,000 different kinds. Its herbarium, which is also one of the largest in the world, has over 7 million preserved plant specimens. During the Age of Discovery, when explorers researched new continents, cameras had not been yet invented. To document landscapes and plants, Painters would accompany such an expedition. Kew Gardens houses 175,000 prints and drawings of plants. While some of them were quite artistic, they were primarily drawn for documentation. Like today, there were also artists who painted nature primarily to create art, but at the same time they documented nature. One of these painters 
was Marianne North. She extensively travelled the world and painted what she saw. In 1880, she had a gallery built at Kew Gardens to exhibit her many paintings of plants and landscapes. After major restoration, the Marianne North Gallery is again open to the public. <laughs>